Hey guys, um, this video is going to be more of like a conversational, podcasty type of vibe. Um, I've just been feeling this incredibly deep calling to really be all the way honest. And it's like this calling is growing and it's just really big in my body. It's so big that it's just past midnight here where I'm at. And I was laying in bed and, and I like had to, it's something like, I had, yeah, I had to. It was like I was pulled in front of this camera. It's like my soul was like, here's the new direction we're going with how you share. And it was almost like my ego was like, didn't matter if it liked it or not. But my soul was like, this is the direction we're going. And it's a super vulnerable direction. It feels really exciting and fun and expansive and liberating and like the direction that is the most exciting in many ways, but it also sounds really scary. Because I guess there's still parts of me that are like, I don't know if it's so much, oh, I want to be seen in this way. I want people to think this of me. I'm sure that's there. There's a lot less of that than there used to be. Um, I don't know what it, you know, I, let's just be honest. Like, I think there's this fear of like, oh, they might, I don't know. Is it like lose respect for me or <sighs> there's these fears about this direction that I'm being called to go with how I share. And, you know, obviously I'm going to give more details about that. But yeah, let's just get into it. Maybe that will uncover stuff. Um, you know, I'm just being called to be super honest and, and to share my journey, what I go through every day. And I'm not saying I'll share every day, but um, maybe I will, who knows? Just I'll share when it's inspired and it feels real, of course. But but I am feeling like this energy to to give you guys like all the details in a way to be like here's what's actually like all the way real where sometimes you know I, if there's this thing it's almost like i don't want to share everything i don't want to over no i don't yeah i don't want to share everything because i like don't want you guys to worry about me you know because i, I like i know i hold this position as a leader to a lot of you guys as a guide you know, some of you like to book sessions with me. So if I, were, if I were to share everything with you, you know, I wouldn't want you guys to feel like you couldn't depend on me or something or that you had to have pity for me. You know what I mean? Or, yeah, that's what I don't want. Is like, I, I want to share my whole journey, all the details, everything I go through, all the predicaments, the challenge of it, the difficulty of it. My soul loves the difficulty of it, the challenge of it. Um, like life is my sparring partner in a way. The divine is my sparring partner, just making me stronger and stronger, helping me find deeper and deeper layers of strength that I didn't even know existed. You know, like the divine is like carving me into this like ultra human in some ways. And I don't say that to be arrogant. It's just like, it's just what's happening. Like you cannot, you cannot not evolve taking the path that I'm being taken on. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of you can totally reflect that and resonate with that, right? And so, yeah, there's this part of me, a large part of me, and it's growing um, immensely that just like wants to take you through that. Like I want to, I want to share my story every day. Um, but yeah, there's this fear like, Oh no, if I share that, you know, whatever the situation might be, or if I share from this certain place, um, yeah, it's just like, I, I, I would hate for you guys to lose trust in me or something. There's these kind of these beliefs of like, oh, if I, if I share that, then they're going to think this and I'm probably just projecting my own stuff. And you can see why this is going to be a rambly video. So yeah, I've had a lot of fear and reservation at times to share the details of my life. Um, 
too intimately. You know, I'll share what I'm feeling a lot, which I feel is super valuable, but I like something in me is like, I want to share the story. I just, I want this to, I want you guys just to go on this journey with me, you know? And I want you to, I want it to be like the story that is interesting to you maybe, or that provides you value. Um, so yeah, that's, I'm already feeling so much fear about it. It's crazy. Um, this is getting into some tender spots. This is why this is fucking liberating. And this is the path my soul is taking me. Yeah, okay, and this is the one thing that keeps coming up that I keep avoiding talking about. It's like, I wanna share like the, like the about money too and how the divine uses money to, you know, kind of cor like kind of bring stuff up and and ha how sometimes the divine uses money as a way to help me surrender this video is not totally how i want it to go but that's okay that's like the perfect start to um this new way of sharing actually because i'm actually seeing how much spiritual ego are still in my videos and how much i still want my videos to go a certain way which is cool because because my videos are art you know and i want my art to present sometimes in a certain way, if I'm being honest. I want it to hit a certain way, you know? Because I'm an artist, you know? This is art, this is my art, right? And I think that's how I want my art to evolve, is, is or at least Spirit wants my art to evolve in a way that's like me just sharing my story so raw. Like, hey guys, I'm totally broke and I'm in this place and now I'm in a tent and <laughs> life's super hard right now, but here's what I'm learning. And I guess there's this part of me rooted in shame that would be so afraid to say those things because there has been so many i've been in the back of my car before with 25 dollars in my checking account not worried at all <laughs> and magically i had a thousand dollars like three weeks later right and was living in a nice home and and it's like i i don't know but i couldn't share that with you in real time i could never go on the camera in real time and be like hey i have 25 dollars and here's what I'm, what I'm experiencing about it, you know, and here's the beauty of it. And here's whatever else it's bringing up because I, I think I, I don't know. I just wouldn't want you guys to like pity me or something and, or to feel worried about me. So, but I don't know, you guys are going to just have your responses, right? And, um, your opinions. And that's part of this too, is, is the feedback and, and I think that's also something I'm afraid of is like when I share what's real, getting a lot of opinions of, you know, that's so you should do this or that's, you know, like um, unsolicited advice that is meant to be helpful. But really, I just want to share my story. And yeah, I'm open to receive like if my story um, inspires you or adds value to your life, um, for sure, I would I'm open to receiving your support of course, your donations, etc. But there's this part of me of like, don't donate to me because you're worried <laughs> or because you pity me, you know what I mean? Um, donate to me, there's still this part in me, like this true part in me that's, that's very much like, yeah, if you wanna donate because I add value to your life, that's what I wanna receive. I want that kind of energetic exchange, right? That feels really clean and pure to me. Um, wow, dude, this video is ridiculous already in the, in the sense of like, it's still, I don't, I don't know how to even get into what I even really want to say about my circumstances now. Um, man, what spirit's asking from me is really hard because it's so hard to be honest about what's real in the moment when it's difficult. Like it's so easy, like I just said, you know, about how oh, I had $25 and I was living in the back of my car once. It's easy to do it after the fact. It's not as vulnerable. But when you're in it, to share it live, that's fucking hard, because you're in it. You're in the unconsciousness energy in that moment, you know, you're going through it. You haven't processed and digested it and integrated it. So it's so much more vulnerable. Um, yeah. So yeah, this channel is gonna be changing. 
in that way. Um, I just have to, I have to, this has to be, this has to, this is the only direction to go. <laughs> but that's often the, you know, the sign of what you're supposed to do. It's like, well, what direction is there available? You know, go that way. So yeah. Um, that's, that's what I want to share. It's just what's real. And I, and I want to share all the details and I just want to get out of the way of it and let people have their opinions. And, you know, just allow for it all. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just spirit um, having its way with me. It's just spirit, you know, taking charge and the little self surrendering to spirit and the, the self who wants to be seen in a certain way, the self who, you know, has all these protective mechanisms in place, all these masks. It's kind of the death of that self, uh, this new direction I'm going. I just saw 11, 11, as I said that. The, the death of the self who says, okay, if, if we're not, if this video isn't alive, then I'll probably lose subscribers if I post it. If this video doesn't hold a certain vibration, I'll probably lose subscribers if I post it. I mean, these are real things in my psyche. Because, um, you know, if I'm going to actually do this, if I'm going to actually surrender to spirit and do this, I'm going to be posting in all kinds of states and it's going to be probably confusing to people. <laughs> it's going to be chaotic. It's going to be hard to understand. Um, it's going to be worrisome because I go through depths. I go through, I go through depths, man. I go through depths, you know, I go through darkness. Um, I go through hell realms, but I'm, I'm also really free in hell. And I think this is a sign of how free I'm getting is I'm actually starting to be okay with like, I'm, I'm going to just share from hell and just share the details and be okay with the feedback. You know, I'm going to share what's actually really fucking happening at the deepest level and just be okay with what everyone thinks about it. It's like, that's fucking new. And now my videos, if you've noticed from the beginning till now, they've gotten progressively deeper and deeper. And I think this is just like the divine steering me even gosh, even into a, a deeper way of, of being in front of this camera. And it's just going to be, I'm just burning myself alive in a sense. I'm burning the fucking, the false self up. It's just burning. That's all, that's all this new direction is, is summoning. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of dive into it, huh? We, we set this whole up, this whole thing up for 13 minutes. This will be just diving right into it. I can almost tell like, as I'm about to dive into like the realest thing. God, this is crazy to do on YouTube and just publish it. I mean, I've gotten this crazy. I've gotten this free that I, I can do what I'm about to do. Um, it's like, I'm about to just share with you everything that everyone would want to hide if you were me. You know what I mean? We all have shit we want to hide from people, right? Um, and I'm not saying to rush out and just start sharing that stuff. You gotta, you gotta take it one step at a time. You know, if you look at my channel, look at the progress I've made, you know, over time I've, I've like really kind of landed in this place, uh, through lots of inner work, lots of relational healing, tons of sessions. So everything in its own time, we can only go as deep as, as is, uh, um, aligned to, you'll notice, um, Yeah, I'm just shaking fear out. Okay, yeah, let's start. God, I keep delaying it. This is how hard this is still. Um, oh, fuck, this can be so fucking hard. Jesus Christ. All right, it's like when you actually say the circumstances of something, it's much harder because you feel like your humanity is going to be judged. Uh, and it's, it's only actually that's a reflection of how much I'm judging myself about my circumstances. My fear of you judging me is how much I'm still judging me. <laughs> Cause it's, it's just one thing. You're just a mirror. That's why this is going to be liberating. You guys probably won't even give a shit. You're probably like, this is not that, you know what I mean? 
you're making such a big deal out of this, Matthew, is probably what you'll be thinking. Because it's just my own fears. It's, it's my own stuff. <sighs> God, this video's for me, huh? I hope you get something from it, too. I mean, you must be. It's, it's so fucking real. You're like seeing me right at my edge. Right at my edge. Um, yeah, I could just start being real whenever, right? About the circumstances. God damn it. This could be so fucking hard. Um, yeah. It's like fear moving through. Oh my God, I'm like letting myself really be torched here. Oh, this is not... I mean, it's it's really cool, <laughs> but it, it's it's fun in a way, and it's not fun, but it's very alive. I love to feel alive. I'm always going towards what's alive, you know. This is my life becoming more and more alive. This is, you know, this is the only way I can move, is towards what's alive, which is why I've gone through what I've gone through. Um, yeah, which is why I'm here, in this way with you right now. Yeah, I wanna get into what I'm going through. This video might be 45 minutes before I start getting into it, huh? All right. <sighs> um, I don't even think I can do it. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'll just go slow for it. I'm feeling like maybe this is just what the, purpose of this video was, was to just do this. Um, commercial break, just kidding. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm getting the signal like this is just like the introduction of the new path and like in the next video I'm just going to go right into it. Um, or, or actually that actual thought came from the idea of this video is too long. You've drugged this video out too long. And it's actually kind of a, a, an insecurity like you're wasting their time now. You know what I mean? It, just to start where you're, you know, just to start sharing what's real at 18 minutes, you're wasting their time. But I'm realizing this is gonna be more like a podcast. That's how I'm gonna justify it to that part. <laughs> I am really, really like unraveling in a beautiful way for you guys right now. I'm just showing you the depths of my psyche. Oh, wow. This is like a creative intervention for myself, like really just showing it all so that I can get more free and not even so I can get something, but just this is what's happening. All right, let me see if I can dive right into it. Let me just say what is scary to say. I'm living with this awesome soul sister. And there's the, that's the other thing too, is like how much do I wanna share my details of my life when other people are involved, right? <sighs> that's also a consideration and that's a real thing. Um, because I want to create safety for them too. So I'm actually learning this in real time right now. Like, okay, how much do I, what is guided here? What is like the, the, see, this is, I'm learning. I'm like literally learning in real time in front of you. Um, I'll just say this. Anytime we're with a, like a soul mate type of person, whether it's romantic or completely platonic, and like, that's how this situation is that I'm currently in. It's very platonic. It's like uh, soul family. It's like, it feels like sister, brother, sister kind of energy, you know? Um, there's gonna be, it's gonna be really a big energetic thing. There's gonna be lots of karmic stuff coming up. It's gonna bring stuff up for both of you. It's, it's like, you're gonna create this collective field that's gonna be super intense to um, be a part of, right? shutting down there's just part of me that's just shutting down like it's too much like it's just too much vulnerability for that part like I can't 
just push through and say things without that part's consent, you know what I mean? This is discernment in real time. This is attuning to your inner parts in real time. This is why it's like, I spent the last five minutes, the last 20 minutes, however long, slowly moving into what's real for me right now. It's because I've been waiting for this part to tell me it's okay. There's so much life force moving through. Um, I'm running lower and lower on money. Um, and that pattern doesn't seem to be re reversing itself. <laughs> and there's not this like, there's nothing in me that wants to like push against that or change that or like make something happen because I can't, because I'm so, so I, I just, I, I don't have any desire to push against life. I more have a desire to understand life and to flow with it. And, and running out of money doesn't necessarily, isn't like a negative thing in my, in my consciousness. It's just like an interesting thing to observe. And that might trigger a lot of you. Maybe it won't, who knows. Um, I don't really associate money with worth anymore or, or safety that much. There's probably some, you know, that's a kind of a bold faced lie. There's still obviously parts of me who associate that associate money with safety, totally, but so much less than the past. That's a much more honest way to say that. Um, actually a lot less. I feel, I feel my safety is just here. The divine mother is holding me. She's got me. I don't need money to know I'm safe actually. Um, it's like my safety is like just built into my field at this point. I just feel safe. Even if I'm going through lots of fear or terror or uncertainty or discomfort, it's just like, I know I'm safe. I know I'm held. Um, but this is part of my story. This, like, I always, I was really hesitant to, do I even talk about money? But money is a part of the story. Money is a part of the details of a, of a human life, right? And we're also fucking scared about sharing about money. Oh, I'm, I'm broke. Oh, I'm a millionaire. Oh, it's like, even if it's like people who have a lot of money are scared about sharing it. People who are broke are scared. And everyone's just like, ah, oh, money. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's not talk about it at all. It's like, who fucking cares? It, it has no measure of how much you're worth or not. It has no measure of how abundant you are. Abundance is, is an interstate, you know, it's not, uh, you know, whatever, physical uh, possessions or how much money is in your bank account. And that being said, it's totally great if you have millions and millions of dollars, you know, and that's awesome too. Like, I don't, there's no, <laughs> you know, you can be super abundant homeless and you can be super abundant having millions and the reverse is true too, right? You can be in a state of immense lack and be a billionaire. Um, so, you know, I don't know why I'm ranting about all that, but it's just for my own self, just like money, who gives a fuck? I'm getting free of like, yeah. So yeah, here's the situation. It's like, yeah, I'm running out of money. Like I said, the, this soul sister, we feel like a star family, soul sister. I don't know. Uh, really connected. She offered to host me. Um, so I've been staying with her and that's been incredible. I've been learning fucking so fast about like how to step into like the, the healed masculine, the healed divine masculine. Um, and it's actually been working nice since it's so platonic. It, it's actually gives, there's more ways to explore it. I've only done this kind of work with women that I have been romantic with. Um, not totally. There's been a couple or in, other instances, but I'm talking about like living in, in the same place. Um, so I've, I have ground, right? Um, but I'm also like ch tuning into the field with her and I and the, and the situation like, okay, is it now, is it still aligned in this moment? Am I getting a calling to do something different, you know? And, and as a projector, um, I'm supposed to wait for invitations to, to really do things you know, generators and manifestors, they, they can really go create and just like, I'm going to, I'm going to build the thing and people are going to come and that's cool. That's their human design. 
But my human design, which I found out very recently, and it, it fucking resonates so much, is I, I, my strategy is like, I'm really supposed to wait for the invitation. And I have been getting invitations um, from you guys, which has been awesome. Um, but I'm just waiting to feel like, what is the most alive invitation? And right now it's still here. This is the most alive place for me to be. So that's why I'm still here. But in every moment, I'm like checking in on that. Like, is this still aligned for both of us? Uh, is this still resonating, right? Um, that's really my life is just attuning with this moment and, and listening to what the universe is trying to tell me in this moment. And it's just like a moment to moment existence of that. I'm not so much trying to do m what I think I should do or like trying to chase my desires as much. It's more just like, hey, I'm here to, what's life asking from me? Rather than what do I want from life? More like, what does life want from me? A little Eckhart Tolle there. So that's what I'm asking, like, okay, life, what do you want from me? Where do you want me? I give myself to you, life. You know, I'm at your service. <sighs> and that's why I'm making this video. So yeah, it's like running out of money and noticing when I push for more support, like when I really make a big push to be like, hey, do this thing or this thing. And notice like, hmm, I can feel uh, resistance. And then I'm like, oh, okay. How, instead of me trying to control how I'm supported in an egoic way, how I think I my sh support should look, which a lot of times it's like, it should look like $10,000 a month on Patreon. <laughs> You know, that's, that's the egoic way. Um, hey, if that happens, great. Uh, if y'all want to go sign up on Patreon in this instant, I am open to that. <laughs> I am open to that kind of um, support. Um, but the point is, I'm, I'm more now asking like, okay, how does the universe want to support me? You know, how, what kind of, in what ways does the universe actually want to support me? Um, and in what ways am I fighting with the universe because I think it should, my, or I think my support should look a certain way, right? And that's what I've really been kind of surrendering into is like, okay, you know, sometimes I'll just get on Airbnb and I'll try to look for the perfect place, but then I'll just feel like a deadness in it. Like, hey, this isn't how the universe wants to support me. The universe wants to actually, um, it's like a, being a projector, especially, it's like a flow. It's like, okay, you know, the universe is just going to flow me into situations that serve my highest growth rather than me trying to do this, you know, with the imaginary s steering wheel and just causing myself more pain and suffering. I'm really trying to just kind of like let go. It's almost like swinging from one vine to the next in a jungle and you're just trusting the next vine's going to be there as, you, as, you, as you're as sw you swinging towards it and you grab it and then you can't see the next vine yet, but you know it's gonna just appear right when you're ready to grab it. That's basically what my life is, you know? And so it's just a deep listening to the divine. <sighs> and so, yeah, the situation with her, it gets really intense at times because like there's so much fucking energy and there's so much coming up from the unconscious. And it's not just from between me and her, it's like collective stuff we're healing, right? doing this kind of relational stuff. And it's like the collective wounded masculine and feminine stuff coming up. And it's, it's so impersonal and it's like, and we have, there is just like this love and there's this understanding for each other and like a tolerance um, and a, like a, a real, you know, compassion, if you will. Um, and just acceptance for it. like, yeah, it's gonna, it's hard. <laughs> it's really hard. Conscious connections are hard especially when you're both awakened beings with a lot of light and, uh, you know, um, may probably past life experiences together and stuff. So yeah, that situations, these kind of situations are always typically really hard and they bring you to your edge a lot. And so you're always kind of questioning, like, should I still keep going with this? There's this part of you that always wants to run. God, there's this part that always wants to run from connections like this. Um, whether, whether they're romantic or even this one, even though it's platonic, it still has like an intensity where it's like, oh my gosh, can I, can I continue to surrender to all this unconscious material that's coming up? And like communication is important, boundaries are important. Um, 
just so you can cultivate a sense of safety with one another. And, and I think that's something we're always getting better at. And these situations always tend to like kind of show me the worst of myself in a way, or like the parts of me that are still the most immature relationally, um, which is such a gift. Um, but it's like just trying to create a container where both people can move through everything with as much peace as possible. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing is I'm going through this connection and it, and it's, it's really, it can be difficult for the human cause I'm here and I'm just gradually like running out of money and I'm like, I don't know what that's about, but that's interesting. Um, because that's kind of how my money situation flows doing this work. It's like, oh, it's running out. It's almost at zero. Oh, it's going below zero. And then all of a sudden I'll have like a surge of income. And, um, so I, I've learned over time doing this for years now, being in the unknown so much. It's just like, I don't get very attached to that stuff. And I just know the divine is, it, it just, that's what's meant to be happening. Okay, great. My hands are not involved in it. The less I get involved in stuff, the, the, actually the less suffering I create for myself. And the more I'm just like, oh, this is an interesting experience today. And like saying, oh my gosh, thank you, Divine Mother, for this hammock under a tree. Oh my God, thank you, Divine Mother. I'm eating delicious blackberries right now. Thank you, Divine Mother. That buffalo is really interesting to observe, you know? It's like uh, just, just really um, having a gratitude, even if circumstances are challenging, having gratitude for like the support that is here. Um, like the mind, the ego mind that's rooted in fear would really like right now for me to notice how our money is evaporating, right? And it really would like me to focus on that and be very concerned about it. Like that's a problem, right? It wants to make everything a problem, but my soul does not see that as a problem. And that could be triggering for you guys too. Um, my soul just sees that as like, oh, interesting. Thanks for these blueberries. <laughs> That's what my soul does. My soul's like, uh, thank you for this awesome hiking trail. Thank you for this amazing view of this river. And, and there was like these boaters under it. They were having so much fun on jet skis and I was just like enjoying their fun, enjoying watching them have so much fun with each other, right? It was like this group of friends and it reminded me of when I was little and I'd go to the lake with all my friends and my families or my family and their friends. And that's just kind of like my new perspective on life is like just appreciating what is so beautiful because every moment is so abundant, whether your bank account's doing this or doing this, it's like there's something to appreciate in every moment. That scene on Titanic when they were like, don't you get tired of, you know, just living so uprooted and not knowing what's going to happen? And he was like, the way I see it, I got everything I need. It's something about I got air in my lungs. I got this. It's just like really simple. Like, Ultimately, um, you know, yeah, there's, uh, we are abundance and um, there's always something to be grateful for having, whether, whether that's just simply the air you're breathing into your lungs, right? So yeah, it's a challenging situation and that's, that's the money thing. God will corner you because it's like, should I leave? But then I'm like, well, I don't really have any money to leave. I mean, I could make it happen. I could go into some credit card debt. I could go live in a tent. I could go live with someone else who's invited me to live with them. But the truth is none of those things feel alive right now, right? And I'm, I am so surrendered to, uh, some might sound arrogant, whatever, but it's like, I feel at least so surrendered to life that I can really only, it seems, I'm sure I could have a lot of flight in me and I can run and for, I could probably still run and chase comfort and pleasure. But it seems at this moment that I'm surrendered enough where I can only really do the most alive thing. And sometimes the divine will drain us of our bank account so that we're cornered and we have to do a certain thing for her. Maybe, I don't know. Um, you know, like a, we have to, sometimes we're forced to go a certain path, right? And so sometimes our options get scarce, scarce. They might appear scarce. And in reality, there's no scarcity. Um, but they might appear scarce to our mind because that's the divine helping our mind surrender control to the divine. So if you're ever in a place where your circumstances feel really like scarce and you don't have many options or you don't feel like you have many options and the options you do have don't feel that appetizing to your ego self who just wants pleasure and who wants to avoid pain know that that's the divine dissolving another layer of the false self that's the divine helping you to ascend to this place 
that goes beyond your personal desires. You know, it's like the divine actually helping you to surrender your egoic desires to her. So maybe you're in a place that's really intense and, and difficult and you don't have the means to really change your circumstance. Well, that's a gift in some ways because it's, it's helping. And I want to speak to your human too and be like, hey, I'm sorry, that sucks. I know it's fucking hard. Like, let's be real. But also it's it, the, the, the gift of it's like, you're going to get to know your soul deeper, right? There's no other way to go when we're um, in intense situations like that and, and we're kind of cornered. It's like the only way to go is to know our soul more, <sighs> to, to go deeper within, you know, to live from a new depth, to discover the part in us that's actually never suffering. And, and to start to identify with that part more. So yeah, sometimes you might find yourself broke and in a really difficult circumstance that you can't really change. But the one thing that you can, that might start to change is you might start to see the circumstance with new eyes. The external might not change, but you will change. And what more, what more could you want than that? And that's the only thing the divine's ever trying to gift you is circumstances that are going to bring about that inner change to where you see the, the divine in everything, not just circumstances and situations that align with your egoic will or your egoic desires. When you can see the, the divine in situations that your ego is resisting, you're free. Chills. All right, that's it. 36 minutes. That's a long one. Probably going to post this in the middle of the night or something. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just get it up right now. Why not? Because I want you guys to be live with me on the journey. Um, yeah, if you want to help my bank account do this instead of this, <laughs> I'll leave the link for donations. But only if this, like I said, brings you value and serves you. Um, no pity donations. I mean, unless you absolutely insist. There's a... <laughs> but I mean, honestly... I just, I just want to say that again, like, I am good, you know, like, Matthew was totally fine, no matter what, like, there's a very strong connection to the Divine Mother here, I hope you guys can feel that, um, but yeah, I'm also open to receiving your guys' support, uh, there's, there's a PayPal link to, to send some money, there's a Stripe link if you just want to do a credit or debit card, and also, if you want to leave a monthly reoccurring donation, you can sign up to the Patreon and do that, and I don't know, maybe I'll post con to it, new content to it at some point. Maybe I won't, I'm not sure. Uh, but other than that, yeah, thanks for being here. Just thanks for being on the journey. That's the most fun part of this. You know, it's just like, this is, this is, uh, this is the new birth for me. This, this probably will be one of the longer videos. Um, I'm like birthing a new way of being on the channel where I'm just gonna come forward and just really start to share the details with you guys and, and to get really free in that way. And, and it's super exciting for me. So yeah, thanks for your support. Sending you an immense amount of love and compassion and tenderness for any difficulties you're encountering. And I'm just so honored to be here with you. I don't really remember anything I just said in a way, which is perfect. <laughs> and those are always the best videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Namaste.